Hey designers, in today's quick tutorial, I'll show you two powerful features in Figma, negative spacing and canvas stacking order. You can create really cool stuff with them like this notification stack. Let's dive right in and we'll start with negative spacing. So in Figma, if you select two elements, you can easily change the space between them either by clicking on this handle here or by going in the um, inspector and changing it from here or entering a value manually. And of course, the same thing can be done with more than two elements, but the spacing has to be the same, right? So here I have three elements and they have the same space between them and I can change it exactly the same way. Now, the cool part about this in Figma is that you can use negative values for that space between elements or that gap. So I can drag this to the left side to create a negative spacing and that will cause those items to overlap, creating a stacking effect. And the same thing goes for when elements are grouped. So if I create a group here, you can do exactly the same thing or if you're using auto layout. So if we add auto layout to this group, I can of course change the spacing like this, the gap between elements, or I can use the option here, the dedicated option from the auto layout panel. And I can change it like so, or I can enter a value manually. Now, if you're gonna use auto layout, you'll have access to something called canvas stacking order which works something like this. We have three elements with a negative spacing set between them, and we are using, of course, auto layout. Now, if we look in the layers panel here, we can see the order of these elements. We have blue and then green and then orange, and they are displayed blue first, then green on top, and then orange on top. Now with the master frame selected, I can actually go to the auto layout panel, cl click these three dots, and we have a separate option here called canvas stacking. By default, it's set to last on top, which in our case means the orange layer, because it's last on the layer panel, is gonna be on top. But we can change that to be first on top, which will essentially swap things around. Now, if we look in the layers panel, we have the exact same layer order, blue, green, orange, but in my canvas, the blue is now on top of the green and the green is now on top of the orange. So the order has been switched, the stacking order basically. Now these two techniques combined can have lots of different applications, but let me just show you one of them. So right here I have a uh, like a notification widget. And I want to create uh, a notification stack effect where, and I'm sure you've seen this on iOS or Android, where um, you, know, you have other elements behind and under the main notification widget. So it appears as though that widget is on top of, uh, of everything else. So in uh, Figma here, what I can do is I created these um, just empty boxes, uh, added the same roundness as the main one, uh, made them smaller, of course. So this is uh, a little bit smaller than the main box, and this is uh, even smaller than the one before it. So what I can do is I can select all of these, Shift A to create or to add them to a frame with auto layout, and inside this, uh, this frame here, yeah, I can change the uh, gap between items to a value that I think uh, would work for me. So I'm gonna go to minus 64 pixels. And because these um, other elements, these other boxes that I added here are uh, semi-transparent, so they have an opacity of 80%, and I also have a drop shadow, uh, we are starting to see that stacking effect, but it's not quite right. And uh, that's because the uh, layers here are not ordered properly. So 
what I can do is I can change the canvas stacking uh, to set the first on top. So in the layers panel, if we take a look here, we have the main, which is on top. This is the main widget screen. And then we have the second box and then the third box. And just like that, we have a really, really simple notification stack effect. And there you have it, folks, two essential techniques to level up your Figma game. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more Figma tips and tricks just like this one. I'm Adi. I'll see you next time.